As I crossed the door, I entered into the Omega building, the heart of Operation Jericho. It was a cold, dark industrial place with containers and barrels everywhere. On my right, there was the control room where they monitored the outer cameras. And, of course, the asshole that controlled them. The guy I tricked with the pizza, who was coming over to get it. Reality was going to hit him in the face. Give me the fucking pizza and get out. Of course, you are friend. I'm not your friend, buddy. What the fuck? It doesn't weigh shit, son of a bitch. You bake these thinner by the hour. It's empty. Where the hell is my pizza? Look at what's on the box. What? Where? Ugh. I was inside the Omega building. I just had to reach the rooftop and pray that I'd find a helicopter. As I destroyed that computer, I saw something curious inside its metal guts. It was a thick cable and a sign that said ground floor alarm cable, do not cut. They put a lot of effort into the security of that compound. The guards weren't the typical ones I've encountered before. They were... Scandinavian guards. Not only were they tougher than normal guards, they were light sleepers too.
heard something. Base, escaping prisoner, send back! Oops, I fell asleep. Hey Mike! What's up? Yeah. There's a missing box here. Are you sure? In that pokey little room, I found a few crates. They contained...
Oops. Yeah. Oops, I fell asleep. Escaping prisoner, send back them! Done. With the cable cut, the alarm wouldn't be triggered on this floor. Even if I was detected, guards wouldn't be able to trigger the alarm. was that? Oops, I fell asleep. What was that? Ah! 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 Escaping prisoner, ah! send back up!
Escaping prisoner! Base! Escaping prisoner! Send backup! Oops. I fell asleep. Done. With the cable cut, Oops, the alarm I wouldn't be asleep. triggered on this floor. Even if I was detected, guards wouldn't be able to trigger the alarm. Oops, I fell asleep. Escaping prisoner, send backup! I heard something. Face, escaping prisoner, send backup! something. something Base, escaping prisoner send backup <laughs> hurt something Oops, I fell asleep. I heard something. Welcome to the basement. Uh, thanks? Who are you? I'm the Lord of the Labyrinth. If I hadn't had enough already, a mental patient escaped from a ward. I played along. I'm Fox, son of Zox. I hail you, O Lord of the Labyrinth. What's behind that door? A dark labyrinth filled with deadly traps. Why did they build a maze down here? They didn't. 
the labyrinth already existed. This building was built over an old prison, which was built over ancient catacombs. It is said that the souls of the prisoners still dwell there. Are you trying to scare me with that children's story? It is merely a warning. Such is the esteemed duty of the Lord of the Labyrinth. I was curious about what was inside the labyrinth, but I had no business in these catacombs. I was focused on my escape, so I didn't think about those ridiculous stories. Although later, I'd be back. Do you wish to enter the labyrinth? No, thank you. Oops, I fell asleep. Hey, uh, escaping prison, send backup! Uh. Oops, I fell asleep. Freeze! Hands up! What happened with Dr. Hoffman is kinda long to explain. Do you want me to summarize it? Don't even think about it. Any detail can be crucial, so don't skip anything. Now, I want you to drop that fissile core uranium-235 isotope sample. How in the world do you know that it's a fissile core uranium-235 isotope sample? What else would be in the hands of a scientist whose expertise is in fissile core uranium-235 isotopes? How do you know I'm a scientist whose expertise is in fissile core uranium-235 isotopes? I know everything about Operation Jericho. Now, drop that sample. Do you know what will happen if I drop this and the flask is broken? Of course I know. The radiation will flood the whole room. And that would kill us all. I know. I'm not telling you to literally drop it. I mean, slowly set it on the table. It's okay. Don't get nervous. Now turn around, slowly. I'm afraid I can't turn around slowly. Because we're working in a 2D environment, I can only turn in multiples of 90 degrees. Then turn around 90 degrees twice. So you're the brains behind it all. You won't get away with this, you sick bastard. Operation Jericho will die with you. Everything okay, Dr. Hoffman? Oh god, he has a weapon! Wait, you said Dr. Hoffman? Is your surname Hoffman? Yes. Fuck. Why? What's up? I had a neighbor called Hoffman. He was tall, German, and hairy. He won the lottery, but died of gonorrhea the week after. Poor man. Yes, life can be cruel sometimes. But enough stories! What's the purity of the isotope you're using? 95%. Are you mad? That purity is highly unstable! You need to generate an absolute void field and contain that isotope in an electromagnetic field! That's what we do. We have containers of 500 megajoules. You're playing God. Rabble like you invented the H-bomb. You disgust me. Hold on. Fuck. H as in Hoffman. You invented the H-bomb. What are you saying? The H comes from hydrogen. Hydro what? Don't try to confuse me with your scientific slang. Whether or not you're the mind behind this, you're the accomplice of a nuclear menace. Say goodbye, Dr. Hoffman. Wait, I did it against my will. They have my daughter. If I don't do what they say, 
They'll kill her. Your daughter? Where are they keeping her? They have her working as a doctor in the Alpha Building. The Alpha Building? The same one where I met the doctor. Suddenly, I pieced things together, and everything made sense. There were two doctors in that building, although I never saw this man's daughter. Doctor, how old is she? Uh, somewhere in her 30s. In her 30s? What kind of answer is that? A good father would say she turned 32 last April 31st. Well, April only has 30 days. Don't change the subject. What sort of father are you? It's okay. I confess I've never been a good father since I've spent all my time absorbed in science. Not mine. Not mine either. Excuse me one moment. Hello, honey. This is not a good time. It's never a good time for you, Dad. I know, I know. But my current situation is particularly disastrous. Why? Because a man is pointing his gun at me. What? Who is he? I don't know. He doesn't seem like he's from here. I think I know who it is. Ask him if his name is Jesse Fox. Hold on. Uh, pardon me. Are you Jesse Fox? Yes. Yes, it's him. Damn it all to hell. Do you know him? Honey, are you there? Hello? She hung up. Oops. Now it's mine. Jesse Fox here. Over. Can you tell me what the hell you're doing? Doctor, hey, hello. How are you? Not very happy, knowing that you're aiming a gun at my father. What? Your... your father? Yes! Doctor, this is not your father. What do you mean? Of course he is. That's what they're trying to get us to believe. In truth, he's the father of another doctor that works in your building. What? There are no other doctors. I'm the only one here. They're trying to make us believe that too. They're manipulating us. Is your father, by any chance, an expert in nuclear chemistry who works in the Omega building? Yes, he is. The evidence finally collapsed in on itself. Besides two doctors, there were two scientist fathers. The one in front of me who also had a doctor daughter and the doctor's father. Really? Then explain something to me. How is it possible that someone like you, dedicated to looking after others, has a father that is involved in the annihilation of millions of people? What are you saying? My father is a good man! He's a brilliant scientist, not a killer! Well, the man in front of me is working with uranium for nuclear weapons that will be used to annihilate entire cities. What? No, no, this can't be. You see, I told you he wasn't your father. What should I do? Do I kill him? What? No! Tell him that... Doctor, I can't understand you if you cover your mouth. Doctor? She hung up. Why did you tell her? Now my own daughter will hate me. Don't worry. She wasn't your daughter. She was the other doctor. What are you talking about? They're the same person. That's what they're trying to make us believe. They're toying with us. Are you really doing this for your daughter? Yes. I want her to be safe. Millions of people could die. I prefer the deaths of millions of people over the death of my precious daughter. You're a monster. It's not called being a monster. It's called being a father. If you had a daughter, you would understand, Mr. Fox. Enough! Where is the rooftop? Uh, above? Don't be an asshole. I know that. I mean, how do I reach the rooftop? And don't stall me, understood? Another stupid answer and I shoot. I don't think you'll do it. You don't look like an assassin. Really? What have you done? Fuck, it was an accident. Tis but a scratch. 
Come on, my friend. Stand up. I'm going to repeat the question one last time. And this time, I won't miss. Excuse me. You didn't miss. You hit me. That's true. Then this time I won't heal anyone. How do I reach the rooftop? Th there is a lift that reaches the rooftop. You just have to keep going up as much as you can. But you will need a level 4 access card to go out. Well, in that case, give me a level 4 access card. We, we don't have one. We just have level 3 access cards. I swear. Fuck. I'll have to search for it. Now, continue working as if nothing happened. If you trigger the alarm or do something suspicious... You'll kill us! I promised the doctor not to kill anyone. Hoffman's daughter or the other one? The other one. Then... You had no intention to shoot me, right? Exactly. You see? I told you that you didn't look like an assassin. I'm glad you're not one of those bastards. You can't imagine how much I hate myself for what they're forcing me to do. In the end, I talked to them about my escape, about Colonel Harris, and the promise I made to him to call the cavalry if I managed to escape. That gave Dr. Hoffman and his team some small hope of rescue. He promised to delay the preparation of the uranium that would be used in Operation Jericho for as long as he could. After that, I asked him for some assistance in my escape. But he was terrified of being discovered, which would compromise his daughter's safety. So he decided to stay neutral, but still volunteered some information. Colonel, do you copy? Colonel? Shit, he must have been taken. Jesse here, over. Robert, still there. Yep. Guess where I am. I don't think you're home. The radio signal wouldn't reach. I'm in the Omega building. Fuck, man. Where they're prepping the nukes? You decide to stop them? What a change of heart, man. No, it wasn't intentional. Then why the hell are you there? Trying to ride a helicopter out of here. Guess that whole runaway by sea plan didn't work out, eh? Just forget about that. I'll see what I can find out about that building. going inside, are you? I'm just going to have a quick look. Are you crazy? Without an anti-rad suit, you will die in just a few minutes. Another thing, don't shoot in the lab. Most of these devices don't react well to bullets. in there. There are patrols of mechanical spiders. They can see in every direction. Can they be shut down somehow? Only with an electromagnetic grenade. But it would only last a few seconds. Enough time to let them taste my fists. Thanks for the warning. Please carry on with your genocide work.
Mr. Fox! Mr. Fox! I'm coming! What's up, Hoffman? My daughter. She is not replying. Isn't she a doctor? She must be operating on someone. Right when you come into my life? Too many coincidences. What if they killed her? Why would they do that? If they do, you no longer have a reason to continue your work here. You're right. But... Relax and wait a while. And remember to delay those nuclear warheads as much as you can. God knows what will happen if they get completed. clear. Returning to my yeah. position. Base, area is clear. Returning to my position. Base, area is clear. Returning to my position. Do something. Returning to my position.
This was the access card I needed to reach the rooftop. Now I just had to check if there were any helicopters up there. something. Oops, I fell asleep. Oops, I fell asleep. I was on the third floor. There were guards keeping watch on the whole level. But these were not your run-of-the-mill guards. They were Japanese mercenaries. Were they also tougher than normal guards? No way. On the contrary, they were weaker. One punch and down they went. But these Japanese mercs were highly disciplined with an exceptional keen perception. Their unique awareness was twice that of a normal guard, an angle of 180 degrees. Getting close to them unnoticed was impossible if you weren't behind their back. Hey! A coin! Yeah. Hey! A coin! Hey, a coin. Thank you. 
hurt some. Banzai! Yeah. something. Takuma Takagashi! You has won! You show great courage in combat! To fight you has been great honor! Sayonara! Hasta la vista, baby! Boss defeated! <laughs> Hey, Mike! Look! You scared me! Mike? Yeah, it's me. I heard about how you kicked Marcuson's ass. Son of a bitch. He deserved it. What are you doing here, Mike? Well, after I finished repairing those lasers, they decided I had to come here and fix more stuff. Wasn't it your night off? Yep. Just another night working for a bunch of damn extortionists. 
What brings you here, Mike? Need some help? Nah, I'm going to the rooftop. Almost there. Just take an elevator up a floor. I know, I was just exploring a little. Anyway, if you need any help, come see me. I'll be around. Thanks, Mike. See you later. Yep, toodaloo. went out to the rooftop. As I stepped out, I observed details that would be missed by mere amateurs. But to a trained eye like mine, nothing ever goes unnoticed. First off, there was a communication antenna to my right. Felice right. di venire. You mean on the left? I was looking south, so your left is my right. Of course. Continue. Another key detail. There were four guards. And they were smoking. Well, well, well. Look who we have here. Hands up. You have no fucking idea who I am, do you? Who the hell are you, scumbag? I'm the man who's going to shove my boot in your asses so deep that you'll all be shitting leather for a month. I'm the fucking work inspector. Military internal affairs. What? So, how the fuck is it possible that a goddamn gentleman like me, dressed as a mere civilian, freely strolled around the whole fucking building? I'll tell you how. Because some inept guards decided that instead of being at their posts, they slithered up to the rooftop to hide smoke and spew scum. It's our five minutes off, sir. Are you kidding me, soldier? No, sir. What's your name, scumbag? Mike, sir. Listen to me carefully, scumbag Mike. I've been sent by the general himself. He is pissed off with all the soldiers in this building, and I have his permission to ensure each one of you are pissed on. 
I just have to make a little fucking check mark, and your precious fucking leave is a never ending hell of cleaning latrines and wiping piss. So, don't piss me off. Do I make myself clear, scumbag Mike? C -c Crystal clear, sir. Chatting here, blah, blah, blah. Gossiping like schoolgirls. You disgust me. Fuck. Imagine if I was a spy or a prisoner who managed to obtain critical information and I was pretending to be a work inspector in order to steal a helicopter and escape. What do you think would happen, scumbag Mike? Sir, it would be a non-authorized takeoff and it would be shot down by the surface-to-air missiles. And you think he couldn't avoid it? Only if he disabled the communication with the missiles, sir. I see. And how would he do that? Sir, disabling the communication antenna that communicates with all surface-to-air missile batteries. And then he just gets away! What kind of shitty security is that? That's it? This is all going into my report. Heads are going to roll! Please, sir, don't rescind our leave. We have children waiting for us. Fuck! You have children, and you're smoking? You call yourself a father scumbag, Mike? I have good reason to keep you from your kids. No, please, I'll give up smoking, I swear to God. Swear to me. I swear. I swear. I'm magnanimous. I will turn a blind eye to this indecency. But the day you hold another cigarette will be your last. Thank you, sir. Take a look at this floor. It's littered of cigarette butts, you pigs. Have you been tossing these without putting them out? You'll burn the building down. Not to mention the pollution. And what happens if a passing child gets burnt from these? Fucking swine! Lean down, little piggies, and collect all these cigarette butts with your mouths now! Yes, sir! You too, asshole! Yes, sir! Now, get out of here and go back to your posts! Yes, sir! Here it was, the antenna. I searched for wires to cut. Good news, I found some wires. Bad news, I found something else behind them. What, Mr. Fox? A bomb. A bomb in a communication antenna? Exactly. I thought someone before me placed it there to sabotage the tower. And that person was captured or killed before he could set off the bomb. However, a label adjacent to the bomb solved the enigma. It read, Communication Antenna Sparky SGL-65B Anti-Vandalism System. Anti-Personnel Bomb Explode If Person Attempt Cut Antenna Signal. Explosion will not affect structure, but shrapnel eject outside literally destroy any person nearby. Hmm, interesting. Sergeant, do we have anything similar on base? No, Lieutenant, but we can request for one. Well, continue with your farce, Mr. Fox. The label continued. For emergency purpose, disconnect antenna. Prevent explosion by follow KGS-185-U protocol. And what the hell is that protocol? The KGS-185-U protocol. I didn't figure it out at first, but it turns out that I had read that name before.
use the wire with clamps to connect the... with the... I use the wire with clamp. With the. I use the wire with clamps to connect the. With the. I use the bolt cutter to cut the. I use the bolt cutter to cut the... I use the bolt cutter to cut the... Done. The antenna was out of action. The surface to air defenses would never activate if I hit the skies. Now, I can finally get that damn helicopter and escape! Robert, still there? Yep. There it was, the helicopter I eventually escaped in, only to have you inevitably shoot it down. But fuck, I didn't have the damn key. I needed it to get the door open. Hey, Fox, are you there? Here I am, Robert. You find a chopper yet? Found a helicopter, but I don't have the key. Can't you hotwire it? I can't even open the outer door. Work your magic with the radio. Maybe you can hear something useful. No problem. Let's see if a guard can be tricked into telling where a spare key is. Thanks, friend.
Hey, Mike. How did they bring you here? In a helicopter, like everyone else. Everyone but me? Mike, I'm looking for the key to that helicopter. Well, General X probably has it in his office. Is it far? You're right in front of it. That door? Yes. Fuck. Finally some luck. But... But... What? Only General X can open it. Shit. Can't you use your magic? Nope. There has to be a way to get in there. A uh, back door or something. Come on, Mike. Think. Hmm. Wait. His office might have another entrance. A while ago, I was studying the map of this building, and I saw something weird. Weird? What was weird? The office has a private elevator that leads to the basement. Always wondered why he wanted an unlocked private elevator. So you could take the main elevator to the basement and go through there to General Lex's private elevator? Yep. Thanks, Mike. I'm going to the basement. Mike! Wait! The basement is a fucking maze! Take this map with you. You'll need it to get through safely. <laughs> I answered the call before leaving. Hey Fox, weren't you searching for a helicopter key? Fuck yeah. You have it yet? Not yet, but I believe General X has one in his office. Why? Because I heard some talk on the radio. They're keeping a copy of that key in a special room. It's somewhere close to General X's office, through a private lift. Don't know what room it is or where, but I know the door is marked with an X. A door marked with an X? Yeah, man. Fucking weird. Thanks, Robert. If I don't find the key in his office, I'll look for that room. Oops, I fell asleep. I wish to enter the labyrinth. Then say friend in Elvish, and the door will open. Friend in Elvish? Shit. Turns out the mental patient was a fucking Lord of the Rings geek. What person in their right mind knows how to say friend in Elvish? Well, I don't know the word. Can you give me a hint? I'm afraid I can't grant any assistance to this enigma. What if I grant you a punch in the face? Uh, uh, fruit. Big, sweet. You eat it in the summer? Watermelon? It lacks water. Melon? I couldn't see shit. If that labyrinth was full of traps, I was going to need something to see in there. Pineapple! Cherries! Orange! Melon! Oops, I fell asleep. Heard something. Oops. Sleep. Escaping prisoner, send back up. Huh? <laughs> 
Oops, I fell asleep. intersection. It had three exits, north, east, and west. I checked the map. The first letter was E, so I took the path to the east. I reached the second intersection. It also had three exits, north, east, and west. I checked the map a second time. The second letter was also an E, so I took the east path. I would make an effort to check the map at every intersection as I proceeded.
There was something odd about that wall. I found a suspicious brick that smelled like turkey. I pushed it, and 